Welcome to NCIX Tech Tips. Today's episode is all about the DP700 series touchscreen Windows 8 ready all-in-one from Samsung. It features a beautiful HD screen, full edge-to-edge -edge glass panel, and a pretty impressive hardware spec considering how freaking thin this thing is. <laughs> Now I can say it's thin all I want, but it's totally meaningless unless I take something that you guys have context for and put it next to it. So this is a 120mm, 25mm thick cooling fan, and you can see that the entire all-in-one unit actually isn't that much thicker than just like a cooling fan for a desktop computer, which is even more impressive when you consider that it really wasn't that long ago that even just a display would be this thick and have this much ventilation for cooling. And now we've got a whole computer in there. And the fact that it has a 3770T quad-core Core i7, 8 gigs of RAM, a 1 terabyte hard drive, and a mobile 7850 GPU. Now, while one of the first things I would do if I bought one of these is I'd throw an SSD in there as an upgrade, it's a very impressive hardware spec given the form factor. I.O. is pretty straightforward, so you've got this tilting, sort of heavy stand at the bottom here, which is actually very elegant. And I'll show you guys how the tilt works maybe once I have the whole unit sort of positioned a little bit differently. But in terms of inputs and outputs, you've got gigabit Ethernet, HDMI out for dual display, three USB 2.0 ports, HDMI in, which is awesome, because what that means is that even when it's five years down the road and this all-in-one is not that useful anymore as a computer, you can totally still use it as a display on an upgraded computer, yay, or as a second display on another all-in-one or something like that. It's also got display port out, and when you flip it onto its side, there's the optical drive, so it's a DVD drive. However, there is a model available with a Blu-ray drive. Not sure if it's available in Canada and the US, however. And then on this side, you just flip aside a little, whoop, let's see if I can find it, there we go, to reveal an SD card reader, two USB 3 ports, and your front microphone and headphone jacks. It should be noted that the speakers included with this unit are 14 watt speakers that include tweeters, so you should get better audio than you're typically used to seeing out of an all-in-one. Ergonomics are key for a device that you're going to have to touch all the time. So you can see that it goes all the way down lying like this. So if you're above it, you know, it's on a desk that's a little bit lower, you're going to be able to work down on it fairly easily. And then it also goes a little bit further forward than 100% vertical so that if you're sort of sitting like right level with it, you should be quite comfortable as well. Now, while the included keyboard and mouse, wireless by the way, are functional, obviously Windows 8 is all about touch. So you can use the 10-point multi-touch screen to scroll around and zoom around and see things like that. Swipe in from the right using that, uh, that edgeless glass, so that means you can actually use those gesture features. I've seen touchscreen all-in-ones that while you can install Windows 8 on them, they just weren't designed with Windows 8 in mind and they have like a plastic bezel around them, you just can't do it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and show you guys. All we gotta do is like bing something and then we can sort of search for landscapes, and the interface is very, very clean, very, blah, there we go. Move things around. Eee. Installing apps is easy. We're just gonna do away with the keyboard and mouse entirely because uh, Windows 8, yeah, while it does have a desktop experience and you can, you can operate it that way, is just all about touch. So we're gonna go ahead and go to the store where we can download a free YouTube player and we've already done that. It was as simple as just entering some existing Windows Live credentials, which I already had. Opening up the YouTube player and we can watch such classics as Charlie Bit My Finger or even the Mean Kitty song, which is also classic. Thank you for checking out this episode on Samsung's DP700 series touchscreen all-in-one computer that is completely ready for the ultimate Windows 8 experience. Don't forget to subscribe to NCIX Tech Tips for more videos like this from your favorite retailer, NCIX.com.